Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is December 16th. Are you ready for the second half of December? Because if what the weather models are showing, it's going to be a doozy, just like the first half was. We got the storm train pointed at the Pacific Northwest, all the way back past the Hawaiian Islands. You see this next plume of moisture here. We've got a very intense atmospheric river coming for portions of western Oregon. We got big winds coming across the region. We got flash flood warnings out there. We got all kinds of stuff going on. So let's just dive into some of these details. Details. Major transportation issues developing across the state. Highway 410 has been washed out here, and this is going to take a long time to repair. Also, on top of that, we have US Highway 2 and I 90. This is I 90 being undercut here. This would be catastrophic for the region. Hopefully, this does not start to make more headway here because we cannot lose I 90 and Highway 2 at the same time. Just absolute devastating effects that would be because US Highway 12 is not a reliable highway back and forth. There's all always mudslides and I'm surprised that it is still open honestly and it may not be after this next round of precipitation and this is highway 2 again this is going to be closed for months big washouts here big landslide activity closed for like 50 miles across U.S. highway 2 probably until at least February so when you look at the map here and you see it looks like a fruitcake, you know things are crazy. I mean, we got so much stuff going on. I don't even know where to start right now, but we'll just, we'll try our best here. You got storm warnings. You got high wind warnings out there for portions of Western Washington, the coastal areas advisories. You got winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, and the whole area is under a flood watch here as well. Also notice this flash flood warning. This is because of a uh, levee failure on the White River in the city of Pacific, Southwest King County in uh, West Central Washington. And again, these levees are really being tested along uh, the White River and the Green River here, and that's going to continue to be the case over the next few days. Take these warnings seriously. If these levees break, they can spread water really quickly across the region. And Western Oregon, your turn is coming here, folks. You got a flood watch up, and we have some very intense precipitation rolling in here. That's going to start on the day Thursday. You need to prepare now. Huge amounts of rainfall coming, and also we have big winds coming tonight and through tomorrow morning across some of the coastal areas. The higher terrain, Willamette Valley, it looks to be targeted with those big winds as well, potentially gusting up over 50 miles per hour for the Willamette Valley, much higher for other areas. Now, Spokane National Weather Service all over it. Some of these gusts, I wouldn't be surprised to see gusts exceeding 70 miles per hour for some locations. We got mountain snows coming back in. Just another reason to avoid traveling if you can. I-90 Highway, uh, U.S. Highway 12 as well. And again, look at some of Idaho Panhandle, Western Montana. This is an absolutely beastly storm moving in here and ripping across the region. Look at some of these gusts up over 100 miles per hour. I will not be surprised to see some of those. And of course, you got the um, you know the unfrozen ground there, risk for some downed trees as well. Now, to add insult to injury, the Skagit River near Concrete, another huge crest coming as we go through tomorrow morning with us rainfall coming here today on top of everything we've already gotten received and as we go through mount vernon uh you're going to go back above flood stage here on probably tomorrow night into major flood stage you know it's only what uh, less than three feet off the record that we, you know we just got very close to and uh we might have actually beat that if i go back and kind of see that yeah we actually did but another big crest coming from mount vernon and again for the white river and the green river the flow is high that water coming off the howard hansen uh, dam and the mud mountain dam here is really testing those levees so there could be more levee breaks take those warnings very seriously now what is coming here? Well, as we go through the day today, here we go through this afternoon, you can see the rainfall as we go through tonight, really picking up here across Western Washington yet again, big time precipitation. These are some six hour totals there. So again, it's gonna be exacerbating all this flooding we've got ongoing. And then the main show starts to roll in here as we go on in through the day Thursday. This is a very serious event unfolding for portions of Western Oregon here. I'm clicking through here. These are six hour precipitation totals. This is not a storm total. This is not a 24 hour total this is the six hour precipitation total and look at it just kind of hang out across western oregon you need to be preparing now there's no place across western oregon that is going to be safe from landslides or flooding if this event does unfold and it looks like it is going to unfold because the models are in very good agreement the only thing we're wondering about now is just the exact placement of this absolute fire hose buzzsaw of an atmospheric river into western oregon very serious event unfolding here for western oregon and 
and then you can see additional systems maybe after that. But if we take a look here at the artificial intelligence, you'll see the system moving through there while the high wind warnings are in effect. Because look at this pressure gradient setting up across Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. And we scroll through there. I mean, look at these millibars. These are four millibars each. This is just a ridiculous pressure gradient. There's going to be huge wind across some of the areas of the Pacific Northwest. And then you see the next system rolling in here. There we go through Thursday morning. These are six hour chunks. Six. 12, 18, 24, no joke, Western Oregon, your turn is coming, your, round, your turn for some big flooding and perhaps devastating catastrophic flooding is on its way as we go through Thursday and that will continue on in through Friday. And then we scroll off into the extended forecast, you see additional systems may be coming. Hopefully we switch up this pattern and we keep some of that as mountain snows so we don't exacerbate our flooding concerns, but it does look to remain active as we go towards the end of the year. Now, 10 meter max wind gusts here. Some areas won't be getting wind gusts that are atypical for this time of year, but some areas will be, and you got to watch this saturated soils across Tacoma, Olympia, down through the Willamette Valley, gusting maybe 50 plus there. You see the Strait of Juan de Fuca here up across Whidbey Island, some big gusts. But again, the Cascades East, huge winds incoming here, folks. Big winds along the coastline also. So do pay attention to these high wind warnings. I wish I had a little bit more time to cover all of this in some more detail. But again, a big storm rolling across the region. That is on the day today. Day one, excessive rainfall outlook, marginal risk. I wouldn't, you know, I might have a little bit of slight risk here across some of Western Washington. Because again, we're having rivers crest into major flood stage with this one. And with everything we just went through, it might be warranted. But there it is. It's left at marginal. And there's the day three. I wouldn't be surprised to see this get upgraded to moderate at some point on the day today. The very si serious situation unfolding for Western Oregon, some of Southern Washington here as well. And this is day four and day five. We need that storm track to point a bit further south. We cannot afford much more of these plumes of atmospheric rivers rolling across the area. Landslide risk exceptionally high across the region. Consider every single hillside across western Washington the potential to slide and you'll probably be better off. And again, do not travel if you don't have to. That's what this entire area is made up of is a bunch of hills. And then of course, western Oregon, your turn is coming. Uh, going through the 10 plus day period, 11 day period, you can see the precipitation amounts rolling in here on the National Blend of Models. And Something interesting here. So we do build up a little bit of snow as we go through maybe uh, very early Thursday morning, maybe right there. But then you see it start to decline across the Oregon Cascades. On top of all that precipitation, the freezing levels are going to rise back up above the Cascades there for Oregon as this event is ongoing, just bringing hideous amounts of precipitation across western Oregon. So again, not great news there. And then you can see the snow depth in inches. At least we're bringing some to the Cascades. It's not bad, but it's definitely not a high-end event across the Cascades or anything like that for the most part. Now, uh, 700 mil bars here. We'll scroll through there. And again, let's look at that storm system on Thursday. You can see the snow levels rise and include all the way up through 10,000 feet across much of the Oregon Cascades will be above freezing. And then you can see additional systems out here rolling around. Look at this big mid-latitude cyclone there as you go through Sunday night, moving up towards Vancouver island we're not going to worry about that right now and also big waves for the coastline here i'll just scroll through here and you can see the big waves lapping at the coastline here as well so yeah fun stuff for everybody here in the region six to ten day six to ten day precipitation there above normal and there's the eight to 14 day something similar and you can see the experimental product has crazy stuff going on here for the west coast of north america all the way through the end of the month look at this risk of heavy snow for the cascades maybe we'll start to get that rolling here as we go on in towards the later portion of december risk of high winds as well hopefully you guys are staying safe out there i may go out and start chasing right now so you may see a live stream from me here today um otherwise i will catch you guys in the next forecast which will probably be at some point later today